Let us pray. Gracious and holy God, we thank you for today. We pray as we wrestle with scripture and we delve into the joy that is the stories that you unfold in our midst, that we would be given the curiosity of children with wide eyes and open ears to see and hear you moving in our midst. Be with us in this time. Guide this time of us with each other. All this we pray in the name of Jesus who, who meets us in the midst of the messiness of life. Amen. As I warned you, today was going to be a little bit noisier. It was going to involve some more interactivity than normal. And if you haven't already pulled out your crayons and the index cards, uh, you are more than welcome in this time to be doodling and drawing because what we're going to do is we're going to play around with, with imagining these stories in Scripture what it means to be led by, by a child and, and what it means as, as, as a people who follow Jesus to be a people caught up in the work and wonder of the Spirit which works with such creativity and imagination that, that meets the, the wonder of, of a child's curiosity. Now, in, in this room alone, we, we bear witness to the, to the, pow to the power of creativity to, to speak to our faith and share stories of our faith with us. Whether it is, it is the, the, the table where we gather for communion every month or it is the, the carving and woodwork of the pulpit and the altar rail, the needle points of, of, of the needlework of, of the cushions around the rail. If you haven't ever paid attention to all these, they're, they're beautifully done and, and hand done. There are so many ways that creativity finds its, its way into the life of the church and, and even the windows of, of our beautiful sanctuary point it out as well. They, they tell stories for, for, for tradition's sake, but also for the fullness of, of, of the community. Understand that stained glass windows were a thing in the early church because they could tell a story when people couldn't read. So they could look at the pictures and tell what had happened. So, y'all want to look at some of the windows? Yeah? So if we look at these windows in our church, they tell different stories. So the little circle way up at the top of this one with the star over a little town, what story is that? Bethlehem. Bethlehem. It's the birth of Jesus. It starts right there, that, that spirit of strength and wisdom in, in the life of a child. Hey, bud, do you want to come here for a minute? Okay. We'll hang out. We'll go, we'll go over here and we'll look a little closer. So that, that spirit in that child that, that, that leads us, seen in, in Jesus in that moment. If we look at this, the, the bottom four arches, and we look all the way at the one furthest from me, there's a little building on a hill. And that looks kind of like the place where I imagine Jesus was before Pontius Pilate. Then we have the three crosses. And it makes its way all the way over to the women finding the tomb empty. And the angel telling them the promise that, that, that Jesus is not here. He's alive again and forevermore. There we are. At the very back of our sanctuary, we see the, the embodiment of the encouragement to let the children go to Jesus. So that those who are, who are deeply curious about who Jesus is can encounter God with us, Emmanuel. See, art makes a big difference in discovering that and reflecting on it, imagining it. I think Henry's hiding behind me. Can y'all go sit with mommy for a second? Thank you. You got a spring? Y'all want to sit right there? So today, I want us to, to take a moment and take a deep breath. Because just like the, the artist who made these beautiful windows placed before us stories in scripture, 
we're going to put ourselves in their shoes, and we're going to imagine if we added a window to this room, what would it take? What would it look like? Because how we, how we draw out, how we imagine those stories, they can shape our understanding of them and give us new insight to, to what they mean and what they can teach us. So we'll start with an easy story, one that you may be familiar with. It involves a really big fish. Any guesses? Jonah. So we'll start with the story of Jonah in what better moment to, to figure out how to, to make a, a, a stained glass window of than, than Jonah being swallowed by the whale. So if we're gonna if we're gonna make that, what's it gonna take? What do we have to have first? Water. All right, how many how many vote water? water. All right, it's water. Anybody want to come up and draw the water? Ooh. Okay, come on, Hope, Henry. You can come too, Patrick. Here we go. We have, we've got three different blue pieces of chalk. Here, there you go. Come over here. Come over here. We'll draw it on this side. Here, there's another one. There's another one. Henry. Here, here. Here we go. You want green? Okay. Can y'all draw me some water? Draw some water. Here you go. <laughs> All right. You want to draw some water? What else do we need in this story? Henry. What else do we need in this story? A whale! A whale! Henry, can you draw me a big whale? Okay. What else? Let's see. Who can draw me a big whale? You can? All right, here we go. Draw a big whale. You're coloring it in? <laughs> this is going very differently than it did at 815. Okay. What else? You've got the whale? It can splash everywhere. It can splash everywhere. What else do we need? So we've got a whale and we've got water. We need a boat and we need Jonah. He's just sad. Thank you. Here you go, bud. We need boat. Now we've got some boats coming on there. Boats. Y'all have got all those colors to use. You need to do the boat. Okay. You want to draw one too? Who can draw Jonah for me? Can someone draw Jonah? Yeah, there's, there's something about playing with, with the idea of, of what the story tells that, that invites us into that creative work of reflecting and, and sharing in, you have a band-aid, and sharing in the joys of life, in the wonder and curiosity that unfolds. How many of us, when we encounter stories in Scripture, wonder what, what role we are in in the midst of it? Have you ever found yourself reading a story in scripture and you need to wash your hands? We can do that in a minute. Have you ever found yourself reading a story in scripture and wondered how it comes alive? No. The joy of, of reflecting on a story is, is a space where we can find incredible that? creativity. Thank you all. Okay. All right. Everybody, thank you so much for your help. Can y'all set the chalk down and go back and sit down? You're drawing the sun. Okay. There you go. Thank y'all so much. Thank y'all so much. Yeah, we're going to use those in a little bit, okay? You can take one back there with you.
All right. <laughs> when was the last time you approached a story in scripture with such creative enthusiasm? When we reflect on what it means to be a people who, who dwell and sit in the stories of Scripture and, and sit in the wonder of, of everything that God does in our midst, that's the kind of joy that we are invited into. The unabashed creative reflection and fun of, of drawing big giant whales in, in boats, pondering how it is that we, we participate in that story and how it unfolds in the midst of our lives. Sometimes it goes according to plan and everything goes well. Sometimes it goes way off the rails and you never know what's going to happen next. But there still is joy in sitting with the story and seeing excitement and wonder at the work of God in our midst. There's still something to be learned in, in, in that unabashed authenticity of excitement. Now, we don't have the extra side that we were going to have for a story about Jesus. Huh? Hi, Pastor Juan. <laughs> we do have the top half. But at some point during this week, as you journey through your days and, and encounter different moments where, where there may be an interaction that reminds you of a story about Jesus, do you want to sit down here with me, Patrick? Yeah. Take a few moments to slow down to reflect on it and to share in the wonder of what's happening in your midst. It may be an opportunity to care for someone. Hi, Tanner. It may be an opportunity to welcome the children as they come forward. It may be an opportunity to simply be kind to a stranger. It may be a chance to share authentically about your faith in your, in your journey with God, which sometimes may be a little, little extra messy and loud and sometimes it may be calm and quiet but it still is something powerful and the encouragement is that we would all have that that wild abandon to offer ourselves as happily and as excited in the midst of of whatever circumstances god has us in but i hope that in the, in the, in the uh, joyful chaos of this moment, you at least get a glimpse and an encouragement to, to share your faith with that wild, creative, curiosity-driven abandon. Let us pray. Can you all pray with me? Can you help me? Okay, here we go. Dear God, we thank you for all the ways you invite us to be creative. We pray that you would help us to always have the joy and faith of children. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.